Good day guys, Ben here. Today we're going to model this. Okay, so let's start. Uh, actually, this is the one I just did, I roughly did one. Okay, half of it. Okay, so let's do it. So first, we're going to model a box. Let's go create a new generic model, adaptive. Okay, so first, place one point anywhere on this uh, reference, oh sorry, level. Okay, so now make it adaptive. And the next, I'm going to place one point during our work plan, set the uh, work plan onto this horizontal work plan, and place it on point one. I'm going to move it up for now okay so don't worry about this offset because i will move it back so the reason why i have this one because i want to make it um adjustable so because um i don't know which direction i need to model so so now um I'm going to use this point as a, um, a word plan. So I'll use the horizontal word plan of this point as a word plan and place it on this. So which means place on this point. And then I will be able to control this to rotate it if I need to. Okay, so now let's do it. So place another point, draw a word plan, set and pick this horizontal work plan okay and place it i'm going to just place it on this point again and once again i'll just move this up okay so i will move it back but for now i'll move it up so it's clear uh, it's clearer okay so now place a point draw on work plan set work plan pick the uh, vertical point of this point sorry vertical work plan of this point and place it on this point and then i'll move this um let me just have a look this looks like i guess it's about um maybe 500 height and maybe 600 wide i guess so uh, let's oh actually maybe 900 by 600 oh some people are sitting on that so which means that probably like 450 let's make it 450 by 600 okay so um let's offset it by 600 so which means the width will be 600 so now i'm going to place another two point so this time i'll pick the horizontal work plan of this point and another one horizontal oh, this one and select these two points so this time i'm going to offset them up okay so this will be the height of that box i will just type in 450 so now these are the four points so we can create spline okay and then make them reference line but this is not enough. We need another four, um, another four point and four reference line. Okay, so I'm going to just use these four. This time I set work plan. I'll pick the, this vertical work plan, and place it on this point. Once again, vertical, this one, and place it on the point. Once again, and last one. Now I'm going to select one, two, three, and four, and offset them. Um, this will be the thickness. Um, actually, I'm not sure how uh, how deep this box. Maybe I'll make it one meter. Okay. Okay. So these are one meter, and um, let's let's connect all these lines. 
spline and then select all of them and make them reference size. And we won't be able to do it this way. So if I create a, it will, a, a form, it will become a solid. So what I'm going to do is select one reference sign, two reference sign, create form. So this will allow us to create a face. Okay. Again, this one, this one, create form, face, tab, tab, control select, create form, face, tab, tab, control select, create form. So now this is the box. So now we can move this back. I'll change this to zero. Okay, so that's a warning. That's okay. And then I'm going to select this point. Um, oh, actually, hang on. Let me just Control Z. I'll create because I need I need the the rotation angle of this point. So because this is used to you know see control the direction of this box. Okay, so I'm going to create a an angle. So I'll call it a instance. Okay, and okay. So now I can move this back. Or oh, actually, I'll move this back first. So I'll just move this back to the uh, adaptive point, and I'll move this back to there as well. So now this is one of the box. So if we need to control the uh, the angle, we can just do it here. Okay. So I'll change it back to zero, and now we can load this into. Oh, actually, we haven't done that. The the mass. Let's create a. Um, just let's create a mass. Okay. So first, let's go to a floor plan. So I'm going to just place one point, and I guess it'll be maybe a uh, 10 meter. Another point and another 10 meter. Okay. So. Now I'm going to select these um, points and copy them up by maybe one meter. And I'll go to elevation. So let's go to south. I'm going to copy them up, CC up. I guess I'll be maybe, let's make it five meter. So another five meter. Okay, so now let's have a look in 3D view. So, okay, so what we need to do is we are going to just create some spline from these points. Okay, so we can spline, 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 and spline. And I'm going to select all of them and make them reference line. Now we can select some of the points. So for example, this one, I'm going to just drag this out, drag this out. So maybe this one, the middle one, need to go out a little bit as well. Maybe. And then if I select one, two, three, and I create a form. So this is uh, one of the face. Let's have a look at that one. Oh, we can't see from this one, but yeah. It's, qu it's quite close. Uh, maybe I'll just drag this out a little bit as well. Maybe this one as well. Okay, so you can adjust them if you want to. Maybe I'll re re reduce this a little bit. Something like that. So now, also, one, two, three, create a form. So this one will be like this. Okay, drag a little bit. Maybe like this, something like this. Okay, so now select one, two, two face, divided surface. So what I'm going to do is I'll change the um, to uh, from a fixed number to minimum space, and also minimum space. Uh, actually, let me check. I'm not sure which one's U grade. Let me. Um, I'll try three hundred. Okay, so this way. So the actual, actual the box, the width of the box is 600. So I'm going to change the three from 300 to 600. 
and so this for the V grade I'm going to use 450 okay so now these grids will be close to 450 by 600 close to okay so now we can select oh sorry select one of the face and turn on the nodes and this one I'll turn on the nodes for that one as well now we can place this box okay so I'll place this box load into the project and let's just play oops, let's go to 3d view I'll place one um, actually so see when you place this box it's automatically uh, aligned to the face but in this in this exercise we don't want them to do this so what we need to do is go back to the family select this adaptive point so under here orient 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 ori, orient <laughs> sorry orients to orients to orients to yeah change this to from instance xyz to global okay to global xyz so now load this back and override so now you will see this box will be you no know, uh orient to the XYZ of this uh, mass, not this face. But looks like we need to rotate it, right? So let's just rotate it by 90. Okay, so that's it. So this is one of um, a bit, and we just need to, if you look uh, carefully, you will see one. So one, so that's a, uh, um, what's that pattern? Uh, chest so it's one solid one void so we just need to place it like that okay so this is one and then we'll place another one so this one's here another one here so oh we need to change this to 90 degrees as well so another one here and then we will need one here and also one here so now we can select one two three four repeat and we just need to wait a few uh, if your computer is good a few seconds uh, mouse okay so now that's it so it's, it's actually quite good so act, um, it, you will notice that see here and here because um, we can't do much to this because this is how Revit divided divided the, 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 the grid so when the slope when you, you know when this uh, face the angle between the face and the uh, how should I say so if it's a straight face that will be exactly uh, match the the setting but when it's curved the pattern will be you know it won't match the size so you will see here it's, the, it's um, it, apparently the grid here is smaller than uh, the box but here it's bigger than the box so okay so yeah we can't do much just just pretend you didn't see okay so let's do this one so let's do it again so create component so I'll place another one here so um, so if you want to you can rotate this so for example 270 so it will rotate to the other direction oh, 270 so see And so one here, and then another one here, and then another one here, another one here. So select one, two, one, two, three, four, and the repeat. okay now that's it okay so um, 
still the same so you'll see some in some place the the grids won't match the the box size but um, I think for for a concept this should be enough okay so that's it that's it for today um, if you have any questions please let me know I'll see you next time bye